Are you up for a productivity challenge? Imagine silencing the constant distractions, laser focusing on your goals, and unlocking a whole new level of self-improvement. Monk Mode offers a strategic way to smash your to-do list and become a focus machine. Are you ready to take control of your time and unleash your inner productivity beast? Monk Mode isn't about becoming a real monk and retreating to a mountaintop monastery. Instead, it's a temporary escape from the daily noise. It's a concentration booster, letting you finally tackle those ambitious projects you've been putting off. Whether you want to master a new skill, learn something in record time, or simply reclaim control of your schedule, Monk Mode equips you for serious self-improvement. Welcome to Stoic Valiant. This exploration of Monk Mode will give you the knowledge and strategies to conquer your own transformation. This is going to be a long discussion but since you are committed to becoming the best version of yourself, I believe that you have the capacity and eagerness to see this video through the end. Now, prove me right. Let's begin. Chapter 1, Demystifying Monk Mode. Picture this, you're working on a project that truly matters to you. Maybe it's writing a novel, learning a new language, or finally tackling that mountain of photos you've been meaning to organize. You're in the zone, ideas are flowing, and you're making serious progress. But then, ping, your phone buzzes with a notification. Suddenly, you're sucked into a social media vortex, scrolling mindlessly for what feels like hours. Sound familiar? This is the constant battle we face in today's world, a world overflowing with distractions. Enter Monk Mode, your secret weapon for conquering those distractions and achieving laser focus. Inspired by the lives of monks, who dedicate themselves to quiet contemplation and spiritual growth, Monk Mode is all about creating a temporary haven of focus in your own life. It's about hitting the pause button on the constant noise and giving yourself the space to truly deep dive into what matters most. Here's the basic recipe for Monk Mode. Pick your prize, identify a specific goal you want to smash, a creative project, a work deadline, or maybe just getting a good night's sleep every night for a week. Silence the sirens, this is where we tackle those distractions. We're talking social media. The endless stream of emails, that pesky TV in the corner, anything that can pull you away from your goal. Go all in, with distractions minimized. It's time to dedicate yourself fully to your chosen objective. Create a clear plan, grab your focus hat, and get ready to make serious headway. Now, hold on a minute. We're not suggesting you become a hermit and live in a cave, although, if that's your thing, more power to you. The beauty of monk mode is its flexibility. You can tailor it to fit your life. Maybe it's a weekend getaway where you ditch your phone and dive headfirst into your creative project. Or perhaps it's carving out a few focused hours each day, free from distractions, to tackle that work presentation. Digging deeper, roots and variations of monk mode. While the term monk mode is a recent invention, the concept itself has roots that stretch back for centuries. Monks, as we mentioned, have dedicated their lives to spiritual growth and enlightenment through practices that emphasize discipline, meditation, and solitude. Their routines often involve periods of focused study, prayer, and reflection, all conducted with minimal distractions. Monk mode borrows from this tradition but applies it to a modern context. It's about adapting the principles of focus and self-discipline to achieve personal goals, be they related to work, creativity, or self-improvement. Here's the thing, there's no single right way to do monk mode. Different people have different needs and preferences. Here are a few variations you might encounter. Digital detox. This version focuses on eliminating distractions from technology like social media, email, and even your phone for a set period. Project Focus 
This approach involves dedicating a specific amount of time each day or week to intensely focus on a single project or goal. Habit Building Some people use monk mode to establish new positive habits. They might temporarily cut back on certain activities to create space for practicing their desired behavior. It's important to remember that monk mode isn't about deprivation or punishment. It's a temporary strategy you can use to achieve specific goals. We'll explore different approaches in more detail throughout this guide, so you can find the version of monk mode that works best for you. Now, let's address some common myths about monk mode. Myth number one, you have to live in a cave. Not true. You can practice monk mode from the comfort of your own home or even a designated workspace. Myth number two, it's all about isolation. While minimizing distractions is key, you can still connect with loved ones during your designated monk mode time. Myth number three, it's a one-size-fits-all approach. Absolutely not. The beauty of monk mode is its flexibility. You can tailor it to your specific needs and goals. This is just the first step on your monk mode adventure. We've peeled back the layers to reveal the core concept and its historical influences. In the next chapter, we'll explore the various ways monk mode can be practiced, helping you find the approach that best suits your goals and lifestyle. Chapter 2, Why Monk Mode? Evaluating Your Needs So, you're intrigued by the idea of monk mode. But before you dive headfirst into a digital detox or project marathon, it's important to understand why you're drawn to this approach and if it aligns with your current needs. Why choose monk mode? People choose monk mode for a variety of reasons. Here are some common motivators. Feeling overwhelmed, are you constantly bombarded with tasks, notifications, and distractions? Monk mode can help you create a focused environment to tackle your priorities without getting sidetracked. Lack of progress, stuck in a rut and not seeing the results you desire. Monk mode can give you the dedicated time and mental space to make significant strides towards your goals. Yearning for deeper focus, do you struggle to stay focused in today's fast-paced world? Monk mode can help you train your brain to enter a state of deep work, where you can fully immerse yourself in a task. Desire for self-discovery feeling lost or unsure of your direction. Monk mode can provide a space for introspection and reflection, helping you gain clarity on your values and aspirations. Goals galore, what can monk mode help you achieve? The beauty of monk mode lies in its versatility. It can be tailored to help you achieve a wide range of goals, including increased productivity by eliminating distractions you can get more done in less time. Improved creativity, free from external noise. You can tap into your inner wellspring of ideas and generate innovative solutions. Enhanced learning, focused study sessions during monk mode can accelerate your learning and knowledge acquisition. Habit formation, monk mode can provide a dedicated time frame to practice new habits and behaviors consistently. Stress reduction, by simplifying your schedule and minimizing distractions. Monk mode can lead to a calmer and more focused mind. Are you ready for monk mode? Before embarking on your monk mode journey, take some time for self-reflection. Here are some questions to ask yourself. What are your current challenges and goals? Do you have the time and support system to dedicate yourself to monk mode? Are you comfortable with a temporary period of increased focus and decreased social interaction? By honestly answering these questions, you can determine if monk mode is the right strategy for you at this time. Chapter 3, Building Your Monk Mode Foundation The groundwork is laid. You've identified the why behind your monk mode journey and explored how it can benefit you. Now. It's time to build a solid foundation for your practice. Here, we'll tackle the key steps for setting yourself up for success. 1. Identifying your distractions, the focus foes. 
The first step is to pinpoint the gremlins that steal your focus. Be honest with yourself. Is it the constant buzz of social media notifications and news alerts? The irresistible pull of endless scrolling through feeds? Maybe it's a messy workspace or even people who unknowingly break your concentration. Here's a trick, track your distractions for a day. Note down every time you get sidetracked, what triggered it, and for how long. This self-awareness is crucial for crafting effective strategies to neutralize these focus foes. 2. Crafting a distraction-free zone, your monk mode sanctuary. Imagine a dedicated space that fuels laser-sharp concentration. This could be a quiet corner of your home, a local library, or even a rented co-working space. The key is to minimize clutter and ensure the environment supports deep work. Declutter the space, removing unnecessary items that might draw your attention. Keep only the essential tools you need readily available. Optimize for comfort and focus. Lighting and temperature, ensure proper lighting and temperature for sustained focus. Ergonomics, consider ergonomic furniture and equipment to maintain good posture and minimize fatigue. Ambient noise, experiment with white noise machines or nature sounds to create an environment that suits your preferences. 3. The power of routine, consistency is key. Establishing a regular schedule for your monk mode sessions is crucial. Whether it's a dedicated hour each morning or a focused afternoon block, consistency is key. Find a routine that fits your lifestyle and allows you to maximize your focus during that time. Sticking to a schedule helps train your brain to enter a state of focused work more readily. 4. Establishing boundaries, saying no. Learning to politely decline requests can be crucial during your monk mode sessions. Inform loved ones and colleagues about your focus time and kindly set boundaries to minimize interruptions. Explain your dedicated schedule and suggest alternative times for communication. Remember, investing in focused work ultimately benefits everyone in the long run. With these foundational steps in place, you'll be well on your way to establishing a strong foundation for your monk mode practice. Chapter 4, Taming the Tech Beast, Managing Distractions in a Digital Age. Technology is a double-edged sword. It can be a powerful tool for productivity and communication, but it can also be a major source of distraction during your monk mode sessions. This chapter equips you with strategies to manage the digital beast and ensure technology works for you not against you. 1. Silencing the notification sirens. The constant barrage of alerts from emails, social media, and news apps can shatter your focus. Here's how to silence the digital noise. Turn off notifications, disable all non-essential alerts on your phone and computer. This eliminates the constant pull to check messages and allows you to focus on the task at hand. Schedule designated times to check in on emails and social media, minimizing disruptions throughout your monk mode session. Consider airplane mode for maximum focus. Consider going completely offline during your most crucial sessions. Utilize airplane mode on your phone and disconnect from the internet altogether. This creates an environment of pure, uninterrupted concentration. 2. Curating your digital landscape. Beyond notifications, consider the online environment itself. Here are some strategies. Separate browsers slash devices, if possible. Use a separate browser profile or dedicated device for your monk mode sessions. This allows you to avoid the temptation of getting sucked into social media feeds or unrelated browsing associated with your usual profiles. Website blocking apps. Explore website blockers that restrict access to distracting websites during your monk mode sessions. These apps can help you stay on track and avoid getting sidetracked by online rabbit holes. 3. Harnessing technology for good, productivity apps. Technology can also be your ally in conquering distractions. Here are some helpful tools. Time tracking apps, 
utilize apps that track your time spent on specific tasks. This awareness can help you identify areas for improvement and optimize your focus during future sessions. Pomodoro Technique Apps Explore apps designed around the Pomodoro Technique. A time management strategy that breaks work down into focused 25-minute intervals with short breaks in between. These apps provide built-in timers and break notifications, creating a structured approach to focused work. To-do list apps, utilize to-do list apps to prioritize tasks and track your progress. This helps maintain focus on the current task at hand and eliminates the mental burden of remembering everything. 4. Staying informed while minimizing distractions. Complete disconnection from the world might not be feasible. Here are strategies for staying informed while minimizing distractions. Schedule news consumption. Allocate specific times outside your monk mode sessions to check the news and social media. This allows you to stay informed without sacrificing focus during dedicated work periods. News aggregators. Consider using news aggregator apps that summarize current events. This provides a quick and efficient way to stay up to date without getting sucked into lengthy articles or endless scrolling. Podcasts. Explore informative podcasts that cover topics relevant to your interests or goals. Podcasts allow you to consume information while multitasking on low-effort tasks, freeing up your focused monk mode sessions for deep work. Remember, the key is finding a balance. Utilize technology strategically to enhance your productivity and minimize distractions. By implementing these strategies, you can tame the tech beast and ensure your digital world supports your monk mode journey. Chapter 5, Optimizing Your Monk Mode Toolkit Having established a solid foundation, you're now well equipped to tackle distractions. But to truly optimize your monk mode practice, consider incorporating these valuable tools and techniques. Productivity Powerhouses Time Management Techniques Explore various time management strategies to optimize your schedule and maximize focus. The Pomodoro Technique for example, breaks work down into focused intervals with short breaks, promoting sustained concentration. Track your time, gain valuable insights into how you spend your time with time tracking apps. Identifying areas where time is lost allows you to streamline your workflow and dedicate more time to focused work. Organize your tasks, utilize to-do list apps to prioritize tasks. Set deadlines and track your progress. Maintaining a well-organized workflow minimizes mental clutter and keeps you focused on achieving your goals. Visualize your ideas, explore mind mapping tools to brainstorm ideas, organize your thoughts, and establish connections between concepts. Visualizing projects can foster a deeper understanding and boost creativity. Building habits for success. Habit stacking, this technique involves pairing a new habit you want to establish with an existing routine. For example, dedicate 10 minutes to focused reading or meditation after finishing your morning coffee. Leveraging existing routines helps seamlessly integrate new habits into your daily life. The 2-Minute Rule Tackle small tasks immediately if they can be completed within 2 minutes. This prevents them from piling up and becoming distractions during focused work sessions. The power of accountability, share your monk mode goals with a trusted friend or colleague. Regular check-ins and progress updates can provide valuable support and keep you motivated on your journey. Goal setting frameworks. Smart goals, set goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Following this framework ensures your goals are well-defined, actionable, and aligned with your overall objectives. The Eisenhower Matrix Prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. This matrix helps you distinguish between critical tasks requiring immediate action, important tasks that can be scheduled, less urgent tasks to delegate, and irrelevant tasks to eliminate altogether. Vision Boards 
create a physical or digital representation of your goals and aspirations. Having a vision board serves as a constant reminder of your motivation and keeps you focused on achieving your desired outcomes. Remember, the best toolkit is the one that works for you. Experiment with different tools and techniques to find the optimal combination that enhances your focus, productivity, and overall monk mode experience. Chapter 6, The Power of Focus, Deep Work in Monk Mode Having established your foundation and equipped yourself with valuable tools, you're now ready to delve deeper into the heart of monk mode, deep work. This chapter explores the concept of deep work and its significance in maximizing productivity, along with strategies for cultivating a state of deep focus and overcoming challenges that might arise during your monk mode sessions. Deep Work the engine of high performance. Coined by computer science professor Cal Newport, deep work refers to professional activities performed in a state of distraction-free concentration. It's about pushing your cognitive capabilities to their limit, producing high-value work in a shortened time frame. Imagine being able to completely immerse yourself in a task, free from distractions, and making significant progress in a focused session. That's the power of deep work. Why is deep work so important in today's information age? Our world bombards us with a constant barrage of distractions, notifications, emails, and social media vying for our attention. Deep work allows you to reclaim control and carve out dedicated time for uninterrupted focus. Here's how deep work benefits you. Boosted productivity by eliminating distractions you can accomplish more in less time. Deep work sessions allow you to enter a state of flow, where you become completely absorbed in your task and experience heightened productivity. Enhanced creativity, when you're not constantly bombarded with external stimuli. Deep work allows space for your mind to wander and generate new ideas. Deep work sessions can unlock your creative potential and lead to innovative solutions. Improved learning, Deep work fosters a focused learning environment. By eliminating distractions, you can absorb information more effectively and retain knowledge for a longer period. Greater personal satisfaction, accomplishing meaningful work in a focused manner can lead to a deep sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. Cultivating deep focus. Now that you understand the power of deep work, let's explore strategies for incorporating it into your monk mode practice. The deep work schedule, establish dedicated times in your daily or weekly schedule for deep work sessions. Consistency is key. By scheduling these sessions in advance, you train your mind to anticipate and prepare for focused work. Optimize your environment, utilize the techniques discussed in Chapter 3, Building Your Monk Mode Sanctuary, to select a quiet and distraction-free environment for your deep work sessions. Minimize clutter and ensure the space supports focused work. Silence the noise, implement the strategies outlined in Chapter 4, Taming the Tech Beast, to minimize digital distractions. This includes silencing notifications, potentially using airplane mode, and strategically managing your online environment. Single tasking is king, during deep work sessions. Resist the urge to multitask. Focus on a single task at hand and dedicate your full attention to it. Embrace the challenge, deep work sessions can be mentally demanding. Don't get discouraged if you face initial challenges. With practice, you'll develop your ability to focus for extended periods. Maintaining focus, overcoming challenges. Even the most committed monk mode practitioners encounter roadblocks on their journey. Here are some common challenges and strategies for overcoming them. Wandering mind, it's natural for your mind to wander during deep work sessions. Acknowledge the distraction, gently refocus on the task at hand, and utilize mindfulness techniques like meditation to improve your concentration over time. Urge to check in, resist the temptation to check emails, social media, or news updates during deep work sessions. Schedule dedicated times outside your focused work periods to catch up on information. 
Interruptions Clearly communicate your deep work schedule to colleagues and loved ones to minimize interruptions. Consider using tools like Do Not Disturb settings or scheduling meetings outside your focused work periods. Remember, deep work is a skill that can be developed. Be patient, consistent, and celebrate your progress. With practice and the strategies outlined above, you'll be well on your way to mastering deep work and achieving remarkable results in your monk mode sessions. Chapter 7 Nurturing the Mind and Body, Fueling Your Monk Mode Journey Monk mode isn't just about pushing your limits. It's about achieving peak performance sustainably. While focused work is crucial, neglecting your well-being can lead to burnout and hinder your progress. This chapter emphasizes the importance of self-care during monk mode and explores practices that nurture your mind and body, ensuring you stay energized and focused throughout your journey. Self-care, the foundation of sustainable focus. Imagine a high-performance car. To function optimally, it needs regular maintenance and high-quality fuel. Your body and mind function similarly. While monk mode pushes you to achieve your goals, prioritizing self-care provides the foundation for sustained focus and mental well-being. Here's why self-care matters. Prevents burnout. Pushing yourself too hard without adequate rest can lead to burnout, characterized by exhaustion, cynicism, and reduced effectiveness. Self-care practices like proper sleep and stress management help prevent burnout and ensure long-term success in your monk mode practice. Enhances focus, a well-rested and nourished body and mind are better equipped to concentrate and perform at their peak. Prioritizing self-care practices can significantly improve your focus and overall cognitive performance during deep work sessions. Boosts energy levels, healthy habits like a balanced diet and regular exercise contribute to increased energy levels throughout the day. This ensures you have the stamina needed to tackle demanding tasks and maintain productivity during your monk mode sessions. Improves overall well-being. Self-care isn't just about physical health. It encompasses mental well-being too. Prioritizing self-care practices can help reduce stress, improve mood, and enhance your overall sense of well-being, which positively impacts all aspects of your life. Fueling your focus, practices for mind and body. Here are some key self-care practices to incorporate into your monk mode routine. Healthy sleep habits, aim for 7 to 8 hours of quality sleep each night. Establish a regular sleep schedule, create a relaxing bedtime routine, and optimize your sleep environment for darkness and quiet. Nourishing your body, fuel your body with a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and unhealthy fats. Remember, you are what you eat applies to your focus and energy levels as well. Move your body, regular physical activity is crucial for both physical and mental well-being. Engage in exercise you enjoy, whether it's a brisk walk, yoga, or a team sport. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Stress management techniques, chronic stress can significantly hinder your focus and overall well-being. Explore stress management techniques like mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, or spending time in nature. Mindfulness practices, cultivating mindfulness through meditation or yoga can enhance your focus, improve your ability to manage distractions, and promote overall mental well-being. By prioritizing your well-being, you'll ensure your monk mode journey is sustainable and leads to long-term success. There's no one-size-fits-all approach to self-care. Experiment with different practices and find what works best for you. Listen to your body's needs, adjust your routine accordingly, and don't be afraid to seek guidance from a healthcare professional for personalized recommendations. Chapter 8 – Overcoming Obstacles navigating challenges on your monk mode journey 
Embarking on monk mode is an empowering journey towards focused work and personal achievement. However, it's not without its challenges. This chapter acknowledges the potential difficulties you might encounter and equips you with strategies to overcome them. Ensuring your monk mode practice remains sustainable and rewarding. The Procrastination Monster Procrastination is a common foe of productivity. During monk mode, you might find yourself putting off deep work sessions or getting sidetracked by less important tasks. Here's how to fight back. Identify your triggers, recognize what triggers your procrastination. Are you overwhelmed by the task at hand? Do distractions lurk readily available? Once you understand your triggers, you can develop strategies to avoid them. Break down big tasks, large, looming tasks can feel daunting and lead to procrastination. Break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. This makes them less intimidating and allows you to experience a sense of accomplishment with each completed step. The Pomodoro Technique Utilize the Pomodoro Technique discussed in Chapter 5. Set a timer for focused work intervals followed by short breaks. This structure helps maintain momentum and prevents procrastination by creating a clear timeline for completion. Reward yourself, celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. Completing a deep work session or finishing a challenging task deserves recognition. Reward yourself with a healthy activity you enjoy, reinforcing positive progress. Conquering Boredom Paradoxically, the focused intensity of deep work can sometimes lead to feelings of boredom. Here are strategies to keep your monk mode practice engaging. Variety is key, don't get stuck in a rut. While consistency is important for deep work, incorporate variety into your schedule. Rotate between different tasks or projects within your monk mode sessions to maintain stimulation. Embrace new challenges, constantly seek opportunities to learn and grow within your chosen field. Explore new concepts, tackle unfamiliar tasks, or read thought-provoking books to keep your mind engaged and prevent boredom. Change your environment, shifting your workspace occasionally can spark creativity and prevent boredom. Consider working from a coffee shop, library, or co-working space to stimulate your mind with a change of scenery. Combating Isolation Monk mode can involve periods of focused work with minimal social interaction. Here's how to manage feelings of isolation. Schedule social time, while focused work is essential. Dedicate time for social interaction outside your monk mode schedule. Schedule video calls with loved ones. Join a club or volunteer for a cause you care about. Maintaining social connections is crucial for well-being. Build a support system, surround yourself with people who understand and support your monk mode journey. Share your goals and challenges with a trusted friend, mentor, or online community. Having a support system helps you stay motivated and combat feelings of isolation. Embrace technology. Technology can be a powerful tool for connection even during monk mode. Utilize online video platforms to stay in touch with loved ones or participate in virtual workshops and events related to your field. Adapting monk mode for you. Monk mode is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Here's how to adapt it to your unique needs and lifestyle. Be flexible, life throws curveballs. Don't be afraid to adjust your monk mode schedule based on your needs. Unexpected events might require you to shift your deep work sessions. And that's okay. Prioritize consistency over rigidity. Listen to your body, pay attention to your body's signals. Schedule deep work sessions when you're most alert and focused. Avoid pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion, as this can hinder productivity and well-being. Celebrate your progress, focus on the progress you've made, not just the goals you haven't yet reached. Acknowledge your achievements, no matter how small. Celebrating your progress keeps you motivated and reinforces the positive impact of monk mode. Overcoming challenges is part of the monk mode journey. 
By acknowledging potential roadblocks and implementing these strategies, you'll be well equipped to navigate them and ensure your monk mode practice leads to success and fulfillment. Chapter 9, Reintegration, Returning from the Monk Mode Oasis Your monk mode journey has been a period of intense focus, self-discovery, and hopefully, significant progress towards your goals. But the journey doesn't end here. This chapter explores the concept of reintegration, guiding you on a smooth transition back to your regular life while preserving the valuable habits and benefits cultivated during monk mode. A gentle bridge, not a cliff dive. Exiting monk mode abruptly can be like jumping off a cliff. You risk losing the momentum you've built and struggling to reintegrate the positive changes into your daily routine. A well-planned reintegration strategy acts as a bridge, allowing you to seamlessly transition back to your life while retaining the valuable habits and improvements gained during monk mode. Integration, not elimination. The goal isn't to eliminate everything you enjoyed before monk mode. Instead, it's about integrating the newly formed habits and routines into your daily life. Here are some strategies to achieve this. Identify your key takeaways, reflect on your monk mode experience. What habits and practices have been most beneficial for your focus, productivity, and well-being? Identify the key takeaways you want to integrate into your life moving forward. Schedule your deep work. Deep work sessions were likely a cornerstone of your monk mode practice. Don't abandon them altogether. Schedule dedicated deep work sessions within your regular routine, even if they are shorter or less frequent than during your intensive monk mode period. Maintain your toolkit, remember the productivity tools and techniques you explored during monk mode. Keep them in your arsenal. Utilize to-do lists, time management strategies, and mind mapping tools to maintain focus and efficiency during your regular schedule. Protect your focus. The digital distractions you tamed during monk mode can easily resurface. Maintain strategies like silencing notifications and minimizing social media browsing during focused work periods. Preventing regression, staying the course. Reintegration isn't without challenges. Here's how to prevent regression and maintain the positive changes you've achieved. Anticipate setbacks, everyone experiences setbacks. Don't be discouraged if you encounter challenges or slip back into old habits occasionally. Acknowledge the setback, learn from it, and recommit to your goals. Celebrate milestones, track your progress and celebrate your achievements, big or small. Celebrating milestones reinforces positive behavior and keeps you motivated on your journey. Maintain your support system. The support system you built during monk mode is invaluable. Continue to connect with your friends, mentors, or online community for encouragement and accountability as you reintegrate into your regular life. Review and refine, periodically evaluate your reintegration process. Are there strategies that no longer serve you? Are there new habits you'd like to incorporate? Refine your approach as needed to ensure long-term success. Monk mode is a transformative journey, not a one-time event. By implementing these reintegration strategies, you can successfully transition back to your regular life while preserving the focus, productivity, and well-being you cultivated during your monk mode experience. This sets you on a path for continued growth and achievement in the long run. Chapter 10, Conclusion, Embracing the Power of Focused Work Congratulations! You've reached the final chapter of this exploration of monk mode. Throughout this guide, you've delved into the power of focused work, discovered strategies for maximizing your productivity, and learned how to navigate the challenges that arise on the path to self-improvement. Now, let's summarize the key takeaways and contemplate the lasting impact monk mode can have on your life. Key Takeaways a monk mode masterclass. Deep work is the engine of high performance, by eliminating distractions and cultivating a state of deep focus. You can achieve remarkable results in a shorter time frame. 
Monk Mode equips you with the tools and strategies to master deep work and unlock your full potential. Focus fuels productivity. A core principle of Monk Mode is eliminating distractions that hinder your ability to concentrate. By implementing strategies for device management, workspace optimization, and single tasking, you can significantly boost your productivity and make the most of your time. Self-care is the foundation for success. Monk Mode isn't just about pushing your limits. It's about achieving peak performance sustainably. Prioritizing healthy sleep habits, a balanced diet, regular exercise, and stress management techniques fuels your mind and body, ensuring you have the stamina to conquer your goals. Embrace challenges. Foster growth. The road to self-improvement is rarely smooth. Monk Mode acknowledges potential obstacles like procrastination, boredom, and isolation. However, by understanding these challenges and implementing the strategies outlined in this guide, you'll be well equipped to overcome them, fostering resilience and growth. Adaptability is key, Monk Mode is a customizable framework, not a rigid set of rules. Learn to adapt it to your unique needs and lifestyle. Experiment with different techniques, refine your approach over time, and find what works best for you. The Potential Impact of Monk Mode By embracing the principles of Monk Mode, you can unlock a multitude of benefits. Achieve ambitious goals with enhanced focus, increased productivity, and unwavering determination. You'll be equipped to tackle even the most challenging goals and turn your aspirations into reality. Sharpen your skills, deep work sessions provide the ideal environment for focused learning and skill development. By dedicating uninterrupted time to honing your craft, you'll witness a significant improvement in your abilities. Boost your creativity, when your mind is free from distractions. It has the space to wander and generate new ideas. Monk mode can unlock your creative potential and lead to innovative solutions. Enhance overall well-being, prioritizing self-care throughout your monk mode journey fosters a not only mental focus but also improved physical health and emotional well-being. A final encouragement, embrace focused work. The world is overflowing with distractions. Monk mode empowers you to take control, reclaim your focus, and dedicate time to what truly matters. The potential for growth and achievement is immense. Whether your goal is mastering a new skill, completing a demanding project, or simply experiencing a deeper sense of well-being, Monk Mode offers a powerful path forward. Are you ready to embark on your own Monk Mode journey and unlock your full potential? Take the first step today and experience the transformative power of focused work. If you found this guide valuable, Consider subscribing to the Stoic Valiant YouTube channel for more content on productivity, self-improvement, and achieving your goals. We explore various techniques and strategies to help you master focused work and live a more fulfilling life. Like this video and hit that subscribe button to join our community of ambitious individuals striving for excellence. As I mentioned in the beginning, this was a long discussion. Despite that, you have proven that you have the dedication and discipline to finish this video. I was right in believing in you. Now, tap yourself in the back. Warrior. I'll see you in the next video.